Good morning. Welcome to the next podcast of Andy Collier Talks Cricket Memorabilia. I've had a good week this week, I have to say. A few days off, which managed to mosey on up to Eton near Bolton to see Warwick Mill there with his lovely collection of Archie Jackson, 1930s Australian team, um, and various other bits and pieces. Really nicely set out in his uh, hallway there. And uh, thanks for his hospitality this week. Uh, it's very good. So I'm really pleased I went up there to see Warwick. Took a photograph up for him, so he, he was happy too. And then I moseyed on up to Gary Musker at, um, or near Liverpool, to see his, uh, well, what can only be described really, is an amazing collection. Um, all sorts of bits and pieces in there, gold cufflinks and balls, one of the, well, probably the earliest ball in existence. Um, some magnificent uh, um, golden age photographs, lovely selection of ship photographs, and one I was going for, I noticed he beat me on. And it's nice to see it again, I have to say. So thanks to Gary there for that. Uh, let me look at his collection. It's fantastic. Um, fortunately, I managed to uh, improve on his collection as well. So that was great. But the only downside is we went and watched Liverpool on Thursday night, which was an absolute, well, very disappointing, I, can, I have to say. But there you go. Can't win them all, can you? So there we are. But uh, on my absence, a couple of bits and pieces turned up this week. Um, got a nice photograph here. Uh, with a signature of Tom Rushby there, Liverpool, uh, Liverpool, what am I talking about? <laughs> Got them on the brain. Um, Surrey Spinner, again, had his uh, career interrupted by the First World War. Um, but a good player he was too, good bowler. Um, his statistics came out quite nicely. Um, he had played 228 matches. Um, got 954 wickets at 20.58 in his best Best um, bowling performance was 10 for 43 of his summer set in 1921, which is his last season. Um, he took 100 wickets in in a season four times. So uh, not a bad bowler there, um, Tom Rushby. Um, and I've got a couple of bits and pieces involved, which you've actually seen before, because uh, I've been showing the last few weeks. It's the 1914 County Championship there with uh, Rushby in the back. Uh, so it's a nice postcard. He's also on this one, 1920 postcard here. Not in a Surrey blazer, actually, there. So I don't know uh, why he wouldn't be in a Surrey blazer. But anyway, there we are. So that's a couple of bits of uh, Bushby. And a nice signature here of Bushby there. That's what I've shown before. He's up the back here. So I did have a signature of him anyway. But um, nice to get a sort of sideways on photograph of him. And that's... Um, Tom Rush before you, and the other one that turned up was this lovely one for the Golden Collection. Um, Nick Pellow. What was his proper name? His proper name was uh, Clarence Everard Pellow. Um, Australia guy, as we all know. This is from the Golden Collection. So a nice photograph there and a pencil signature down here. So that's quite a nice thing. Um, but his career, he played 10 test matches. He played uh, for South Australia. 1913 14 to 28 29 so obviously he was interrupted by the war as well and then he toured england with the aif to england and south africa 1919 20 and australia he played uh, he we got his high score in test test match cricket in australia the christmas day test 1920 21 against england when he got a what the 116 his high score uh, a career a career run aggregate of four hundred and fifty or four thousand five hundred and thirty six rather, and thirty three point six zero with his high score two hundred and seventy one, and uh, his maiden Test century that was for the one hundred and sixteen in Melbourne with Gregory. They got a partnership together there, batting fairly low down the order of one hundred and seventy three. So in um, Australia's total of four hundred and nineteen in innings. Uh, win on that test match so um got some nice bits there that one there of pello there that's turning up this week and then we've got a nice signed 1921 card there and that one come out of edgar main's collection there at the back so he sent that to who did send that to mr bailey that one another one here because that's a fam famous card there 1921 uh this postcard with a sale this postcard will be given to the funds of the royal free hospital Gray's Inn road london 
that's quite a nice gesture there for the Australian team. Another one here with uh, Pello uh, on the end there. Is it on the end there? On the end here, Pello. There's a few bits and pieces with Pello in there. And this nice 1921 Ashes winning team here. This is a lovely piece actually from the referee. Um, got all the averages and what have you on the sides of them. Quite a nice uh, little piece of that. So I'm quite pleased to have that, which goes nicely in the inner sanctum. Anyway, that's about it for this week. I um, hope you've had a good week, as, uh, like I have, and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers, have a good one.